Hi there, Ken and Danny here and today I'm gonna tell you a little bit about the clipless pedals. I'm doing this video because I'm quite surprised that in many uh, local uh, bike stores um, people who sell these would not tell uh, the buyers how to use the pedals and what to do in order to uh, avoid any injuries, especially at the beginning. So let me show you how these work and what can we do to make the use of those, those pedals uh, fun from the very beginning. The clipless pedals are meant to help us to clip into our bike and feel that the bike and us is just one. Yes, uh, this is the um, pedal here and uh, in order to clip into it we do need another part which is our shoe. This is a special uh, mountain bike shoe and the shoes have these cleats here. So the pedal and the cleat they can be just joined together like this and now we are clipped in into our bike. Okay so um, these are the mountain bike these have uh, two sides on which we can uh, clip in and the cleat just fits between those uh, teeth let's say it. What should we know about the clipless pedals? Are they dangerous? No, these are not dangerous. Are they dangerous when we do not know how to use them? Yes, they are. Uh, so um, the clipless pedals will help us to um, pedal with efficiency. Uh, I'm gonna cover that topic in another video because it's also not true that we are pulling and um, pushing all the time. But anyway, uh, these are very comfortable uh, and by using those uh, in the city on the commuter bike uh, or like this uh, cyclocross bike or road bike uh, we do feel much better on the bicycle and we do uh, save energy. So how to unclip from uh, this uh, pedal? It's quite easy. We simply do move our heel either outwards or inwards. There are also different uh, cleats that would help us to um, unclip from the uh, clipless pedals uh, more easily. Uh, Shimano does uh, have uh, these models. This would also allow you to unclip from the pedal by uh, moving your um, uh, heel in the different directions. Uh, but I would not recommend those uh, because um, uh, you could unclip from your pedal just by coincidence and that can lead to the injury. But what should you know when you buy a clipless pedals. Uh, first of all you should know that most of the pedals have this regulation here. You can see this uh, little screw. By unscrewing it we are um, taking off the, uh, or lowering the tension on the spring here and that means that uh, clipping in and uh, clipping off the pedal will be uh, much easier and we have uh, we have two such regulations for both sides this is some old uh, PDM 515 uh, Shimano pedal which is working very very good if you start using those clipless pedals just uh, unscrew those uh, bolts completely and then clipping in and clipping off will be very easy but remember you can then also unclip uh, by coincidence uh, and this is just for the beginning for you uh, to learn how to use uh, use those uh, clipless pedals so if you already know how to regulate the tension of your pedals and that it should be low uh, just at the beginning the second thing is not to go for some heavy terrain and also probably the last thing you want to step on with your shoes is the sand like here because uh, mud and sand and uh, anything that comes here all you know between the cleat uh, and uh, and the sole can really uh, make difficult to uh, clip in or clip off the pedal so just set your spring on the lowest tension and also avoid any heavy terrain, just go for some uh, light uh, cycling and then it will be fine. I know quite a few guys and girls who bought their clipless pedals and they went just uh, for some, you know, spinning in the city and they, they, they stopped on the red uh, traffic lights and then they fell down because, uh, you know, when we do something suddenly like stopping on the red lights, we do uh, tend to forget that we have those clipless pedals. So you just have this in mind and you will be really enjoying using clipless pedals and in other video I'm gonna tell you how the clipless pedals uh, work and I will compare these to the 
cages. If you've got more questions, I'll be happy to answer those. Just put those beneath the video and we'll see you soon. Bye bye.